Hey everyone, this is the Heroes of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about episcleritis. It's a benign inflammatory condition affecting the episclera, a thin layer of tissue located between the conjunctiva and the sclera, which is the bar white part of the eye. Most patients with episcleritis have a mild, isolated problem that responds readily to topical therapy alone and does not pose a threat to vision. Episcleritis is commonly acute in onset and may be either localized or diffuse. Patients usually complain of the abrupt onset of redness, irritation, and watering of the eye. Pain is unusual but can be observed with chronic or nodular episcleritis. Vision is not affected. Physical examination reveals bright red episcleral discoloration caused by vasodilation of the superficial episcleral vessels and edema of the episclera without edema or thinning of the sclera. For diagnosis, we diagnose usually with a thorough eye examination. The key to differentiating from other eye conditions such as scleritis is the lack of pain and more superficial nature of the inflammation. And we could do slit lamp Examination, this will show localized or diffuse redness in dilated blood vessels in the episcleral. The other test we could do is phenylephrine test. Phenylephrine eye drops are used to blanch the vessels. In the episcleritis, the blood vessels will blanch, helping it differentiate from scleritis, where the deeper blood vessels will not blanch. Differentials are uh, talk about two different differentials. One is conjunctivitis. It could be bacterial, viral, allergic. And in conjunctivitis, the main complaint is going to be morning crossing and daytime redness and discharge. Crossing and discharge, other than tearing from irritation, are not present in patients with episcleritis alone. The other condition, the other differential diagnosis is scleritis. Scleritis will, will present with intense ocular pain, photophobia, which is increased sensitivity to the light, and the deep red or purplish scleral hue. For patients not bothered by presence of episcleritis, treatment is generally not needed because symptoms and findings typically resolve over several weeks. For some patients, we prefer conservative management, and for that we give artificial tears for lubrication to relieve irritation and cold compresses to reduce redness and discomfort. And in severe, moderate, uh, severe, more persistent or symptomatic cases, we can use topical NSAIDs like diclofenac or ketorolac eye drops to reduce inflammation and topical corticosteroids like mild steroids like fluoromethylone may be prescribed in cases with significant discomfort. Oral NSAIDs like ibuprofen or indomethacin can be used in more symptomatic cases. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch our other eye-related interesting videos and I'll see you on the next video.